Hey friends, returning to work after the holidays followed by some illness has kept me away from making videos, but I'm back now and I'm doing some experimentation in this one. First of all, I'm filming this by natural light in the first part of this video, which is new for me. Secondly, I'm working on canvas, which is very rare for me to do. And third, I'm working extremely small. This is a three by three canvas, which I am using acrylic ink on right now. And I'm doing this piece specifically for a show coming up at a local gallery. They do a show every year of just 3x3 art and people from all over town submit pieces to it. It's really cool. They all sell for $5. And actually this year, my organization is the recipient of those proceeds. So that's really exciting as well. I run a summer camp for girls to play rock and roll and they're going to donate a portion of every sale to that. So super awesome cause. The other unusual thing for me that I'm doing in this piece is working in pink. Pink has invaded my life now. I think it comes from watching so many Courtney Diaz videos and I'm actually probably going to buy some opera pink watercolor for my watercolor palette, which if me six months ago could hear me now saying that, I would just laugh and laugh. I'm back in my comfort zone now. I am mod podging a piece of tea bag, which I printed with archival ink and that is a hand-carved labyrinth stamp, and I'm all about labyrinths. I use the same technique in my workshop, Mindful Metamorphoses. But I thought that this abstract image in the background sort of looked like looking out of the mouth of a cave. So now using a pit pen on some tissue paper, and I'm on the, the waxy side of the tissue paper. And now I've got some distress crayon. I hardly ever use these or any of my other water soluble crayon type media, but what the distress crayon is fantastic for is dry smudging. Without the texture of a colored pencil and without the dust of a pastel and without wrinkling the paper. So that's what I use it for. And then it sets and I can continue to work over it. So now I'm mod podging that down and I tore it and I was sad, but it's okay because the great thing about mixed media is you can just cover that up. Now it's time for a flurry of paper cutting so I can get some words on this piece. And I am back in the typing textbook that I also used for my previous piece in my collage sheet process video a few weeks ago. And I decided before I glued these words down that I wanted to sort of bridge the color gap between that pink and the brown of the tea bag. So I brought in a little bit more distress crayon and I will also bring that back in a moment to darken the cutouts and make them not stand out quite so much. I don't work in square formats very often, but I find that it makes composition so easy. I think that's a major reason why Instagram is so popular. I'm bringing in a regular Sakura Jelly Roll pen to go over my old outlines and make this girl pop a little bit more. Here I'm distressing those words a little bit more with the bridge color to unite the piece. And she's all finished. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.